Oh, some people just never figure it out. Um, depth of field, size of your sensor. Size of your sensor does not affect your depth of field. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to block people from commenting on this video because if you, unless you're saying correct, then you don't really know anything. What I'll do is on this, on, in the description, I'm going to put a link to a very long, detailed, but simple to follow explanation of how depth of field is created and how it is affected by the three staples of focus, focal distance, aperture, and subject to camera to background distance, and not the size of your sensor. And also I've put an explanation of how when people say, when all things being equal, the size of the sensor gives you a shallow depth of field. No, it doesn't. A, sh a bigger sensor does not give you a shallower depth of field. If you want to disagree with that, that's fine, but do it after you've read all my description on the blog in the link down below, because it doesn't. The, the, it's, it's like saying having a bigger mirror on the wall will somehow make the background of my reflection become more blurry. No, it won't. It won't in any way whatsoever. Um, so don't confuse that. And, and I'm really, uh, I'm just been playing around on YouTube and there's a couple of professionals that have said, oh yeah, get a bigger depth of field, a, a bigger sensor will give you a shallower depth of field. Ah, I'm really worried that there's so-called professionals giving out wrong information. Um, so yeah, all of you know, the size of the sensor does not change the depth of field that you get with your lenses or you know when you take a photo. The things that do are your aperture subject to camera to background distance and your focal length. Mix those two together and you get different ranges of depth of field. There's also another thing which is much more confusing called the COC, Circles of Confusion. That's kind of really more advanced version and I've, again I've put that in the blog down below so click on the link there if you want to see what it's all about. But there I've put it in the most basic, obvious, exampled terms possible for everyone to read. If you want to leave a comment, leave the comment on the blog because then I'll, I'll know at least you've read that and you're not going, damn you're wrong, if I get a bigger sensor I need to be closer to the person to get the same field of view so I can get the same bit and they get the... I don't care, it doesn't. Uh, so that's all I want to say is yes everyone well done, field of view and depth of field, completely different things. The camera and photo setup settings are what change your depth of field, not the size of your sensor. So check on the blog, all the details there, nice and simple for everyone. Hope you enjoy. Cheers. Bye-bye.